No, I'm here with Brian from Jones and to Go, and he has brought his. Well, tell us about your setup a little bit. Uh, this is a 35 foot Montana by Keystone, and right now the way it sits loaded, we're about 14,000 pounds. Today we're going to upgrade the brakes to hydraulic disc brakes, and this is something that I've been thinking about for quite some time. And when my wife decided that she's finally ready to start pulling the rig, I knew. It's time. I've waited too long. And so right now, um, I got to be honest with you, I'm like a kid waiting for Christmas. I can't wait to, to pull this thing and hit the brakes for the first time once this is done. I've heard nothing but fantastic things about what a difference it makes. And quite honestly, you know, one close call on the road is one close call too many. And unfortunately, we have those on a regular basis. So, you know, you always hear that term white knuckle. I don't know if it's white knuckle, but when you're on the brakes on the truck and your hand is on the brakes on the brake controller all the way and you're just praying, you get stopped in time, you know, I've had enough of that. Now we're going to take it in the shop and get our brakes installed. We're going to meet up with Brian later and see what he thinks after. So we got the brakes installed. We're out on the road and this is really the maiden voyage with the disc brakes on. So uh, Brian tows his fifth wheel quite often. So kind of excited to see his reaction as he stops. So once we, uh, we get to a nice little straightaway, we'll jab the brakes and see what it does. So we're on just kind of a industrial straightaway here. So um, Brian, go ahead and hit the brakes. Wow, what a difference. I don't think I've ever felt this thing stop like this ever since the day it was new. And gain set at? At five. What do you normally have it at? Nine. Well, that's, a, that's it's, good. <laughs> at nine, it's never, ever break like this ever in fact there's been times I've wondered if I'm getting stopped at nine I'm excited about not only being able to stop but the maintenance is gonna be so much easier oh my god did you feel that <laughs> I hardly pressed the brake I think he's pretty happy yeah I think he's gonna enjoy this now speaking of braking we've actually done a little bit of test in our parking lot and it's not exactly out on the highway testing but what we've done is we've gotten up to about 15 miles per hour in our parking lot and just use the trailer brakes at full gain and allowed the drum brakes to do what they can to stop it. Now we've gone ahead and done the exact same braking test now just with our D-Max brakes installed. Now for a quick visual reference, you can see our cone over here to my left. And uh, that's where the front of the truck was before with his drum brakes. Um, you can kind of see where his truck is now. So obviously it's made a huge difference. We went from 117 foot down to 53. So more than half of what we had before. Imagine that being a car on the highway and you have to make a quick movement. Instead of being there, you can be here. So we've just gone ahead and done our post disc brake installation test. What do you think about that? Um, I'm speechless. I knew it was going to be good. I knew it was going to be better. I hoped it would be that, and it definitely is. I'm confident in everything we do now. I'm confident when my wife is behind the wheel towing this now. Before, I wasn't so sure so because she's just learning. Um, I don't know why I didn't do it before. Absolutely, and that's really, for a towing experience, confidence is everything. Um, being able to be comfortable behind the wheel and not white knuckle makes your trip enjoyable. And the best, when it comes to brakes, that's definitely something to, uh, it's, it's something you want to put your hat on saying that you have the best brakes because without stopping, well, it makes for a not-so-great experience. It makes a bad day if you can't stop in time. One close call is one close call too many, but they're very frequent out there because even though we drive defensively and leave space between cars, especially in a metropolitan area, there's always that one person that cuts in, hits their brakes, and you know you don't know what they're thinking or what they're doing. We can drive as defensively as we want. It's the other guy. And reaction time is everything, but the fact that I have the ability to stop now means the world to me. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Brian. Thank you.